delete files off a server after an election, Mr. Bennett? I hope not. Um, so, Mr. Gates, would you agree with that? Uh, I would say that it is appropriate to maintain files, and that's exactly what we did. We deleted the, the deleted files that have been discussed. They were archived. So you, you, so you admit that you guys did delete, Maricopa County did delete files off the server after the election? Yeah, that, that, were, that are archived. Yeah, and so when you released um, uh, these, these uh, servers and these, this information to the auditors to begin with, they didn't have access to those archived files at first. Is that fair to say? They did not subpoena those. That's correct. <laughs> okay, so... So you didn't feel obligated to turn that over then to, to them? We, we responded to the subpoena. Okay. Mr. Bennett, your response to that? I find it, frankly, laughable to suggest that a county, in response to a subpoena, could say we will delete files from the hard drives and materials that we give to the auditors because we have those files archived on data that we did not give to the auditors when the subpoena said turn over all the records related to the election. Yes, yeah, that's the way I read the subpoena. It was read more broadly than, than the county read it, for sure. So, um, so your, your Twitter account mentions that the purging of the 2020 election database in the beginning of February is a standard practice. Can you please confirm for me that that's what you do for all elections, after all elections you, that you do that? I, I cannot confirm that for you today, but we can certainly get you that answer, Congressman. Thank, thank you. Mr. Chairman, can you, can you confirm that today or not? I, I really can't confirm that either today. I, I just know that because there is limited space on these servers, when you have to run another election, then you have to make room for the additional uh, election data. So, so was there additional, was, was, was there still, well, let me just rephrase this. If that, if that is the standard practice, which is kind of, I don't think you guys are saying that you know for sure, but you're, uh, the, the chairman just intimated that, that that's the case. Can you explain to me why data was still present for prior elections uh, on the databases in and of itself? Yeah, I, again, I, I don't have an answer to that question, but we'll certainly get you an answer for it, Congressman. Okay. Um, all right. I, I would appreciate if you would give me that information. And I, I do think that it's important that our recorder has suggested that he will be answering every question in a timely fashion. That's, that's the same recorder that campaigned that Adrian Fontes was incompetent and called him a criminal. Um, and he was the guy that was running the 2020 election, and that's and you actually hired someone to oversee Mr. F 